most importantly, an alumnus of Yeshiva Karen Biavne. And if I'm not mistaken, I lived in the barracks. That's the one, I believe, that has no bathrooms outside. That's the one? So I was in the barracks for a year, many years ago. Rishus, Rosh Yeshiva, Rishus Rav Lachman, and many distinguished Rabbanim, Tamidim, ladies and gentlemen and friends. I'd like to focus on a pasuk we just read. Lamana she yitzav es bonav es beso achrov v'shomru derech Hashem lasos tzedakah o mishpat. In describing our patriarch Abraham, the Torah tells us why he knows or loves, depending how you translate your dativ, Avraham Avinu. It's not merely because of his tremendous intellectual accomplishments he discovered on Chodesh Baruch Hu. There were others before him who apparently understood who Hashem was, but was unique. Lamana she yitzava es bonav es beso achrov v'shom ruderech Hashem asos stok mishpat. He was the one who saw to it that the chain continue for all the generations, and that you and I are here today is a testament to the success of that one individual, that Avram Avinu. I believe this Pasuk is a beautiful description of our guest of honor, of Blachman Shlita. I speak personally, ki adativ in both senses, sense of knowing and the sense of loving. If I may use a little poetic license, that among the multitudes of Talmidim that Rav Lachman has, included in them are my own sons, Bonov, my son Simcha, who learned for three years where Rav Lachman is here representing his brothers, who all either learned in the Shia or had otherwise very strong connections. See, in Rav Lachman's situation, it's not just the knowledge that he imparts to you in the classroom. That's important and a very high level. But it's much more than that. V'shamru derech Hashem. It's a whole way of, a way of life. The way of life of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The life of dedication to Torah, not only to the intellectual parts of Torah, to the emotional parts of Torah, to the existential parts of Torah. That Torah is our very existence. Ki heim chayenu. This is something which a Blachman has been imparting to Talmidim from the very beginning when he came to Karen Biavne. I remember first hearing the name Rabbi Blachman. At that point in time, I was teaching young men who were on their way to Eretz Yisrael. And I tried to send them all to Karen Biavne. I was pretty successful. There are many people in the room now who came from my Shia then to Karen Biavne. And all of a sudden, there's a new name on the horizon, Rabbi Mendel Blachman. I said, who is this? And I didn't hear the name before. And Talmud after Talmud after Talmud explained to me, not only a great Rebbe, but some of them I can have a very strong and lasting personal relationship. A very strong and lasting personal relationship. This is Rav Lachman. And the fact that the dinner is so crowded is a testament to that great success that he has. Not only in teaching Torah on a high level, but in maintaining, fostering, nurturing a strong and lasting relationship. This is the essence of what a Rebbe is supposed to be. This is the essence of who Rabbi Blachman is. And therefore, I conclude by wishing him, as I t- told him privately, I'll say it again publicly, I wish him to have nachas from many more Talmidim and to have much more nachas from the present Talmidim al Meir Ve'esem Shona. Mazel Tov.